Now, one of the other studies that we've done is we're actually trying to apply some of the stuff we're learning about dog cognition and what we've learned in the last 10 years. Because the truth is, most of what we're doing is we're trying to understand how intelligence or cognition differs between different species, um, how it develops, and we're trying to learn about humans. It's a very selfish motivation. But, um, but okay. uh oh. <laughs> so, so um, Bella, uh, I'm sorry. Um, so, what, so, what people, it's been a very selfish endeavor trying to understand humans by studying dogs. And actually, my own work um, has been involved. Okay, I gotta be quicker. This is getting boring. Um, so, the short version is that what we wanted to understand is if dogs are actually using these social cues, are they thinking about what you're thinking about? Is it that they know what's going on inside your head? We've done lots of studies to try to get at that. And now we're trying to apply that knowledge. And one of the things that's been demonstrated is dogs are not disobedient because they're dumb. Dogs are not disobedient because they can't learn. Dogs are disobedient because they know what they can get away with. <laughs> um, and one of the ways that they can figure that out is based on cues of what you're able to see and what you're not able to see. So I'm going to try this with Molly. I have no idea what's going to happen. Um, but my guess is... She's poor. What do you think, Molly? <laughs> I'm going to try this. Let's see what happens. Um, actually, you know what? I'm not even going to use the bowl. So this is a very simple experiment that was done uh, by a group in Germany. It's been replicated uh, uh, by several other people. Um, uh, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to show Molly that I have some food. Hey, darling. You are so wonderful. Come here. Here. I'll give you some before I start. OK. All right. I'll cheat for you. OK. Now what I'm going to do, thank you. That's perfect, Eric. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the food on the ground. Here you go, Molly. OK. Now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, Molly, no. Don't take the food. No. OK, we're going to wait for a little bit. <laughs> oh, she's really good. OK, now what we're going to do, I'll give it to her. There you go. All right, so that's one test condition. So that's pretty standard, right? She was very obedient. Now here's the key test condition. Now she may still just stay there because she's such a sweetie, and she's so well behaved. But don't worry, we have one more dog who might not be behave. <laughs> um, <laughs> so. So I'm going to put the food. I'm going to do the same thing. No. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. Thank you. OK, so we got one more dog. We're going to do the same test and see what happens, OK? <laughs> Thank you, Molly. So, so what we do is we're actually, uh, what we do is we have many dogs, and we can assess whole groups of dogs. And generally, in a study, we'll test 40 or 50 dogs. And when I'm telling you a dog does or doesn't do something, it's actually an average of what the average dog does. But there are many dogs that differ individually. Um, and so let's see what good old Georgie does here. All right, Georgie. All right, you ready? OK. OK. <laughs> OK, no, Georgie, no, no. <laughs> oh. I think we're in trouble, people. <laughs> you are so sweet. <laughs> All right, so sometimes they just go. <laughs> we can try one more time. We can try one more time. <laughs> All right, Georgie, come here. Come here, Georgie, come here. So you can see, when we're trying to understand the psychology of dogs, we just play fun games with them, not anything that we wouldn't do with our own kids. All right, stay here, Georgie. Stay. No, stay. Stay. You're beautiful. I love you, but stay. 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 Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Oh. All right. That's OK. Thank you very much. Thank you, Georgie. You did right. You did a good thing. Now, I just want you to know, I just want you to know that Georgie did not fail that test because he got all the food. <laughs> <laughs> so I was the failure. But, but as just a closing point, when we study dogs, we bring them in, we play fun games with them. And what we're really interested in is not what they, what they learn in our test. We're interested in the inferences they can make about their world. And when people have done that, um, it ends up that they do make really strong inferences 
uh, and that they flexibly can solve problems, even on a first trial or a second trial, and it's not that you have to teach them everything. In fact, dogs come into the world and they have special abilities relative to other animals to really interact and use people to their advantage. So that's basically uh, the, the summary of what we found when we we're studying dog cognition. So thank you very much.